Hello and welcome to another CSN demo. I am Holo Watu Sinyo Yekomi and today we'll be diving into the process of hosting our WordPress site on Amazon ECS. Why many may choose to set up their WordPress site with tools like cPanel or on virtual machines. We'll be taking a more advanced approach leveraging Amazon ECS for a scalable, flexible and modern cloud environment. By the end of this demo, you'll have, have a clear understanding on how to deploy your WordPress sites on AWS ECS with ease. This is my AWS uh, management console. The first step we are going to do is to create our own virtual private cloud, which is our VPC, which we had as a dedicated network for our WordPress deployment. So all you just have to do is to type VPC. Let's create our VPC. And uh, in this VPC dashboard, we are going to make use of VPC and more. Okay, let's give our VPC a name. Okay, this is our IP range. You can choose any of the IP, but I'm going to be using the default IP range. Number of availability zone, we are going to be choosing two. And number of public subnets, we are going to be choosing two. Number of private subnets, we are going to be choosing two. And for this particular demo, we are not going to enable our NAT gateway and also our S3 gateway, we are going to put it as none. So let's create our VPC. Let's via VPC. Now it is time for us to create our own security group. Let's navigate to security group under our VPC dashboard. Now we can see we have only two security group by default, but we are going to create our own security group that is dedicated to our WordPress environment. We are going to set this up to allow HTTP traffic by opening port 80 for inbound access. This will enable users to reach our WordPress sites over the web. So let's create our own security group. Let's give it CSN security group. Let's see the same for the description. Under the VPC, let's have it in mind that we are not going to be selecting the default VPC. We are going to be using our own created VPC. So now in the inbound rule, we are going to add HTTP. And we are going to use custom or IP4 and make it accessible from anywhere. Okay, now that we have created our own security group, it is time for us to create uh, a load balancer and a target group to efficiently manage the incoming traffic. Okay, ensure you choose the EC2 features, not the other one. So let us create our load balancer. We have three types of load balancer. We have the application load balancer, the network load balancer, and gateway load balancer. But for this particular uh, demo, we are going to be using application load balancer. Let's give our load balancer a name. And for the scheme, we are going to be selecting the internet facing. Load balancer IP address is going to be IPv4. So under the network mapping, we are going to go to the VPC and we have two VPC, the one that comes by default and the one we created. So we are going to select the one we created. 
the one we created we only have two availability zone so we are going to select the two availability zone and ensure that they are on this uh, public subnets not the private under the security group we are going to select the security group we created because we have open port 80 to allow incoming traffic on http now it is time for us to create the target group target group will route traffic seamlessly to our wordpress task on the ecs this we ensure there is reliable and optimized user access to our wordpress site so let us create our target group under the target group we have target type we have the instance the ip address lambda function application load balancer we are going to be choosing the ip address because we are not creating any instance we are connecting or uh, routing to our wordpress using ip address so let's give our target group a name csn target group so we are using port 80 ipv4 and by default it is going to pick our vpc so let us create our target group so it's asking us to enter the ipv4 address from a vpc subnet so we are going to be using the network the vpc uh for that we created so let us use the ip v4 address so it is at the top you can see it so let us enter the ipv4 address and create our target group so let us go back to uh, the dashboard where we are creating our application load balancer so let us refresh this our target group so that we can select our target group so let us create our application load balancer we can leave every other thing as default so we can see our application load balancer is provisioning let us wait so we can have it provision okay now our application load balancer for our wordpress site has been activated that is it has been provisioned it is now active it is now time for us to create a task definition for our wordpress application uh, a task definition is like a blueprint for your container and uh, we are going to navigate to the ecs and create a new task definition for our WordPress site. So we are going to navigate to the task definition under Elastic Container Service and create our blueprint for our WordPress site. So let's create a new task definition. So let's give our task definition a name. Let us select AWS Fargates. Under the CPU, we can see it is using Linux. Under the CPU, let's select the uh, the minimum because of cost and uh, one gig. So the task row. Let's select ECS task execution. We can actually create this in the IAM console to create just uh, ECS task execution row for this task definition. We can create new or we can just select ECS task execution rule.
So yeah, we can give our WordPress a name and also uh, choose our WordPress URL or choose a default. We are using the default WordPress uh, image. So we can use this one or if you have your own WordPress that you have built the image, you can use it here also. The container port on which WordPress is listening is port 80. So you can leave every other thing as default. If there is any environment variable, we can add it here, but we don't have any. So let's leave it as default. We can leave all this as default, but if we can modify it, you are permitted. But just for this demo, we can leave every other thing as default. Let us create our task definition for our WordPress site. Now we have our task definition active. Now it is time for us to create our cluster. Let's create a new cluster. So we are going to be using Fargate. Like we use Fargate in the task definition, we, we are still going to use Fargate, which is a serverless compute for our container. So let us create the cluster. Now we have our cluster created. So under our cluster, we have services, we have tasks, we have infrastructure and the likes, but we are going to create a new service under our newly created cluster. So let us create a service. By default, it's going to pick the name of the cluster. Okay, now let's come to deployment configuration. Under the family, it's asking us to select a task definition family. So we are going to select the CSM WordPress uh, task definition we just created. And by default, it's going to pick the latest. So let's give it service name. So it's asking us it is that task. So we are going to select only one. We can choose two as the case may be. So under network, under the networking, let's select the VPC that we created, not the default one. So it's picking all the old subnets, the public and also the private subnet for us. So we are going to use an existing security group, the one we created just specific for this particular uh, WordPress application. So let's select it. You can see it's CSN security group. So under the load balancer, we are going to click on it and enable application load balancer. You can leave the container port as default, port 8080. So it's asking us to create a new load balancer or use an existing load balancer. We are going to use the one we created just for this particular demo. So it's asking us to choose an existing load balancer. So we can see this is the one we created and it is internet facing. So let's select it. So it's asking us to create a new listener or use an existing listener. We already have one created while we were creating our application load balancer. So let's use the one that is already existing. So under the target group, we can actually create a new target group or use an existing 
target group. So let us use an existing target group, the one we created, and we can see it has picked it by default. So let's select it and continue to create our uh, service under our cluster. So let us create the service. So it is creating our WordPress site and we are already seeing that it is in progress. So in some few minutes from now, our WordPress site is going to be available through our load balancer. Okay, uh, we can see that our service is active and we have two tasks running. Ensure you wait uh, until your task is running and you can now navigate to your service, which is your WordPress site uh, created using the task definition and the WordPress image. So let's navigate. Okay. Let's just go to configuration and see. Uh, okay, let's check the load balancer and see if our application is up and running. Wow, bingo. You can see that we've been able to successfully uh, deploy our WordPress site using uh, ECS. We started by creating our home VPC, our security group, and also our, our load balancer and our target group. Then we created our, our task definition in our ECS and we created our service even from our ECS. Now we have our WordPress sites up and running. Thank you. See you in the next demo.